Hello friends and welcome back. For this video, I'll be taking a closer look at Intel's Open Visual Inference and Neural Network Optimization Toolkit, better known as OpenVINO. The toolkit originated and adopts work that Intel developed in its Computer Vision Software Development Kit and is focused on inference. There are a number of reasons why AI enthusiasts are adopting OpenVINO. Among these reasons, are a user's ability to oftentimes leverage existing idle processing cores deployed in the field to potentially run additional workloads often coupled with new added revenue streams. OpenVINO also provides a unified consistent experience across a number of Intel-fueled processors and offload acceleration cards supporting popular programming languages like C++ and Python. Along with mainstream AI frameworks like TensorFlow, CAFE, and MXNet. Here's a high-level view of what bringing in a trained model from an AI framework into OpenVINO Inference Engine looks like. We would generally have a training environment, as seen on the left, that would produce an output model file for the respective AI framework. The model optimizer converts models from the various frameworks, be it CAFE, TensorFlow, or MXNet, into a unified model that Intel refers to as an intermediate representation, abbreviated IR. The IR consists of two main files, a .xml file that describes a network topology, such as node merging, batch normalization elimination, horizontal fusion, and a second file, a .bin file, that contains the weights and biases binary data. The inference engine provides a simple and unified API for inference across all Intel architecture. It also provides a future-proof and scaling path for development of future Intel assets targeted at tackling AI workloads. Here's a look at the recommended hardware requirements for running OpenVINO. The suggested operating systems are Ubuntu 16.04 Linux, Windows 10, and Mac. 6th through 8th generation Intel Core processors are, are recommended, but you could also get away with earlier generation processors pending type of model being run and your patience around compile and execution times. Xeon version 5 and 6 families of processor are also recommended, and naturally the Movidius Neural Compute Stick and BPUs are recommended, particularly if your processor may be dated. Provided no errors are experienced, the install time should be under one hour and all material is available online. To demonstrate the ease of installation and use, I'll now walk you through getting a system up and running on a fourth generation processor, followed by a few demos to confirm a successful installation. So let's get started. Before we install the OpenVINO toolkit, there are a few dependencies we want to install first to ensure our system smoothly runs pre-trained AI models. Those dependencies are Microsoft Visual Studio with C++, CMake, and Python. The Microsoft Visual Studio with C++ version that we'll be installing is 2019. The CMake version will be 3.4 or higher. For those of you not familiar with CMake, it's simply designed to support directory hierarchies and applications that depend on multiple libraries. It's used in conjunction with native build environments such as Make, Apple's Xcode, and Microsoft Visual Studio that we'll be installing here. We'll also need to install Python. 3.6.5 is what we'll go with, along with all of the libraries in a 64-bit instruction set. For the Visual Studio install, we'll navigate to the following URL. We'll select the Community Edition, I use the 2019 Community Edition. Once the download is complete, you can launch the installation and navigate to the Workload tab. Make sure the Universal Windows Platform Development option and Desktop Development with C++ option is ticked. From there, you want to navigate to the Individual Component tab. By default, most of the needed options should be ticked. It should look something like this. Once you've completed the Visual Studio installation, you can proceed to installing CMake by making your way to the following website. 
Here you'll want to download and install the version associated to x64-bit. You'll also want to make sure that the add CMake to the system path for all users is ticked during the installation. This should be a relatively quick installation. Finally, navigate to the following Python URL to install Python. You'll also want to make sure your add Python 3.6 path option is ticked during the installation. Once this installation is completed, you're ready to install OpenVINO. For convenience, here is a URL to register and download the OpenVINO toolkit. Once your download is complete, you'll want to proceed to installing, leaving all options checked and clicking through each screen until you get to the Finish button to complete the installation. Once the installation is complete, we need to set the environmental variables we'll need during our use of OpenVINO. The good news is, this is a simple task. We simply need to run the setup vars.bat file. Now, we need to configure the model optimizer. The model optimizer is key in helping us ingest our pre-trained model to be used for inferencing in a target environment. As previously mentioned, this is accomplished by passing in an intermediate representation made up of two files, a .xml file and a bin file holding the network topology, weights, and biases respectively. To begin configuring our model optimizer, we can run the install prerequisites.bat file. This will install all relative prerequisites. We also need to install at least one framework support package. In my case, I'll install several of the popular framework packages to ensure I can import a variety of pre-trained dataset models in the future. Here are the framework packages I'll install. I'll install the CAFE, TensorFlow, MXNet, Onyx, and Caldi framework packages. And these are the respective VAT files that will perform the installation for us. Now that we've installed a few framework support packages, let's test out whether OpenVINO works. Let's navigate to Tools Demo and run demo underscore squeeze net underscore downloads underscore convert underscore run dot bat file. The result should show a simple text-based classification of a car image. We should see various class IDs for objects the image may represent along with the probability of each object being correct. If we want to run a more visual demonstration, we can navigate again and run the demo underscore security underscore barrier underscore camera dot bat file. This will produce an image showing the classification of a black car and captured license plate ID. And there you have it, a quick and easy walkthrough for installing and implementing a few pre-trained AI models. As always, I thank you for hanging in there this long. See you again soon.